Welcome. This is Mr. Fisher Flip's third grade math, and we are using Math Expressions, our math book, to understand word problems with unknown starts. Our focus today is to look at those unknown add ins and see if we can use uh, Math Mountains to understand and know how to find the unknown factors. Today, we want to make sure that you understand how to use these Math Mountains. And so if we have two add-ins, that's the number plus another number, we always get the sum. And so in a word problem, we're going to find the word uh, will be a common word to find out in our word problems. That word's going to be used to figure out what the sum is. I wanted to show you a couple problems. And I'm going to start with Ashley made 15 friendship bracelets. Six were pink and the rest were blue. How many blue bracelets did Alicia make? Well, I can use this Math Mountain to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now to count all the way up to 15, I'm going to have to have enough on this blue side to make up the difference. And so I can take 15 minus 6 would be the difference, right? Well, with this Math Mountain, we can continue adding. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now if we count up the blues, straighten them out a little bit, we should be able to find out how many blues there were that Ashley made. Straighten it out just a little bit more. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So our answer on this side is 9. 9 bl bracelets that Ashley made that were blue, 6 that were pink, and all together we get 15. Our next problem will be similar. Well this one has Faith had 13 stuffed animals. She gave some of them to her sister. Now Faith only has 5 stuffed animals. How many did she give to her sister? Well we can take 13 minus 5 to get the answer, but we're going to use our math mountain to figure out the correct answer. And so if we have five on this side, how many more red ones do we need? We need one, two, three. Wait a second, we didn't count right. We should start with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now if we count up this red side, we should be able to find out there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stuffed animals that were given to Faith's sister. Faith was very nice to her sister. These are the problems that you're going to be finding. So I'm going to let you pause the video right here and see if you can find out how many booklets Patrick started to started out with. Try it on your own and then we'll figure it out together. If we look at this problem it says solve the problem. Write the unknown numbers in the boxes and label your answer. So we have to find out the start. We know what the now is and there are 30 more. So something plus 30 more equals a now. So this is a sum plus some more kind of a problem. Patrick was carrying some booklets. His teacher asked him to carry 30 more. Now he has 110 booklets. So we need to figure out what that answer is. What is your method to find the answer? If I take 30 plus something equals 110, I could find the answer easily. But if I take 110 minus 30, that is my preferred method. I'm going to look at this 110, and I'm just going to cross out that 0 and that 0, and place 1 0 right here. Now I can take 11 minus 3, 10, 9, 8. I say it's 80. So let's check our answer. 30 plus 80 equals 110. Let's check to see if we have the right answer. And the answer is 80. 80 what? 80 booklets. Make sure you label your answer. Try this problem. This is a, another problem that Patricia has. See if you can do it on your own. Now if we look at how this problem is set up, we need to use the boxes to figure out the answer. Patricia has was carrying some pencils. Her friend took 30 of them. Patricia has 80 pencils left. How many pencils was she carrying at first? Now we don't know what she started with, so we need to figure out the answer. Something minus 30 equals 80. What's the way to do this? Because we're just finding the sum of the answer, we can take 80 plus 30. And what's 80 plus 30? 80 plus 30, hey, we just did that. 1, 11, and 1, 0. 110. We take 0 plus 0 is 0, and 8 plus 3 equals 11. Let's check our answer. The answer is 110 pencils. Before I tell you what your assignment is, look at this function machine and see if you can figure out what is the output. If we put in 8 and we take away 5, what's our output? 8 minus 5 is 3. Do you think you have the other ones? 
12 minus 5 is 7. 20 minus 5, oh, that one's easy. 16. No, 15. Come on, Mr. Fisher, make sure you're subtracting by 5. And 115 minus 5 in, out should be 110. To look at our problems today, we're going to be looking at some problems that use real life equations. And there's different ways to do this. If you look at Wyatt, Wyatt has to find granola bars. And he plans to give some of his friends four bars each. Notice how they set up their proof drawing. They have four something times four friends equals 32. How many friends did he will get granola bars? 32 divided by 4 equals 8. So we're going to notice that we're going to be using addition, subtraction, multiplying, and dividing in today's lesson. We're going to be using math mountains to find the unknown start in our equations. So if we look at question number 9, this will be on the assignment in class. The pet store has 81 birds. There are nine birds in each cage. How many cages are there? So which process are we going to use? We have 81 total birds. There are nine birds in each cage. So we have how many cages? One, two, three, four. We have, we don't know. But in each cage we have how many birds? We have nine birds. So what we can do is we can go do a, a math mountain. We have nine as one of the factors. Nine, is it going to be a factor or an addend? It's going to be multiplying. So nine times something equals 81. And so the situation equation shows us that we need to make sure that this is by multiplication. And our solution equation will be 9 times 9 equals 81. So if you look at that, this will be like one of those boxes. Now to show you your assignment for tonight's homework. So question number two, Jamal caught some lightning bugs. His friend gave him 13 more. Now he has 29 lightning bugs. How many did he catch? Also do number five and number six. Marcy has 35 inches of trim to glue onto her seven sticker albums. She is getting or putting the same amount of trim on each album. How many inches of trim is she putting on each album? And don't forget to try number six. Yes, create your and solve your own unknown start or unknown factor word problem of your own. If you create your own, you will start to learn how to do this a lot faster. So I'm encouraging you to make your own word problems. Here's three more problems for you to do. Oh, four more problems. Let's do some remembering. Number two, the total mass of the team's six bowling balls is 36 kilograms. If each bowling ball has the same mass, what is the mass of each bowling ball? So many, make sure you label it kilograms. Even though it's bowling balls, it's measuring the mass. Let's do number four. What is that round two in the nearest hundred? And let's see, I also wanted to do number seven. Riley has 72 stickers. She has nine sticker sheets. Each sticker sheet has the same number of stickers. How many stickers are on each sheet? And to stretch your thinking, write a word problem using the numbers 9 and 6 as an unknown start number. Write a situation equation and a solution equation to solve your word problem. Which situation are you going to use? Multiplying. So thank you for watching tonight's um, lesson. When will this be due? It will be due on Wednesday. And remember to do a WS. Q. That way you remember how to do it. What have you watched? A summary of what you've learned and any questions you might have. And that's all for tonight. Good luck and get your work done.